All right, boys, really quick one, because I don't think this needs too much explanation. We're going to go over the types of orders that you can place, especially stop losses on Binance. Uh, there's two layouts to the exchange, uh, the basic and the advanced. I prefer the advanced just because I like the, back, the black background. If you look at my charts, they, they have that background. There's not much difference in it. So quickly, what we're looking at here, uh, this is XLM versus BTC or against BTC. It doesn't. This is true for all of them, so it doesn't particularly matter. Um, we see the price here in US dollars and then in Satoshis, which um, if you don't know, Satoshi is the smallest amount uh, denomination of Bitcoin. So it would be all the way down here would be one BTC. In this, in this case, it's 4,222 Satoshis. So the types of orders, the most common uh, is market. This will be something you probably, the first time you bought Bitcoin, you would have used a market order on Coinbase. And that's fine. Market orders are fine if you want to get in right now. Um, Basically, what it will do is it. Let's say we hit a buy order. It will find us the cheapest current price and, and buy the amount that we've we've sold for or that we're trying to buy. And say, similar with the sell, um, it will find us the highest sell uh, price that we can get and and sell. And that's fine. That's really good for getting in right now. However, if uh, if you've seen some of my charting videos and I'm, we we can be fairly good at projecting a lot of these prices, um, you might put a limit order. So a limit order will be, unless price reaches a certain point, it will not buy or sell. So we might have, I always call these stink bids, they're sort of like real hopeful uh, things. So let's say, uh, I just, I'm, I'm hoping, I'd love to get into XLM, but only down here at let's say 2000 sats. I can put a limit order at 2000 sats and just leave it there and nothing will happen unless price dips down. And what I will be hoping for is for some reason people get scared or some news breaks or something, it plummets, I buy in at 2000 sats because that's where my limit is set and and now I'm in and I want to be in at 2000 sats and then ideally it will continue up, right? It'll be just be a dip and continue. Equally with a sell, you can set sells uh, low to protect yourself, right? So that if price comes down to let's say 3100 sats you leave or exit uh, or you can set them high and say look if price comes up to 10,000 sats I want to sell half my position right that would be a way to to log some profit and just leave it there now this video is really about stop losses or in this case the stop limit order which I think is actually quite convenient um, on coinbase excuse me um, the way it works we'll actually do this one I'm all profit in XLM I don't have that many left I think I've got uh, 54 so let's say I want to place a, a stop a stop limit which in this case will be a stop loss and I want it at let's say 0, 0, 0, 0, 3000 so 3000 sats so what will happen is if price comes down here to 3000 sats it will then place this limit order which will set at 1 2 3 4 2900 sats so all I've, I'm going to do is press so, and what will happen is it will tell me that if the price drops to 3,000 sats in order to sell the 54 XLM that, that I have, uh, will be placed, a limit order will be placed at 2,900 sats. And I don't, I don't want to do that because I have stuff in place. Um, but it's that simple. And what, what it means is that we don't have all these orders cluttering up our order book. It just knows that at that price, if it hits 3,000 sats, it's going to place a sell order, which in this case is our stop loss, at 2,900 sats. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about stop losses in the sense of how to how you should place them. That comes down to risk management, and that's a lifelong learning experience in itself. Um, and trailing stops are something that I would advise in general. Um, and what that would be is, let's say you you'd bought in here, right? Uh, let's say you bought in at 1600 sats, and you place your your first stop loss at 1200, and price continues up. I recommend that you move that stop as it comes up, so that um, if price dips down significantly after a significant move, you're banking profits rather than leaving it down here. Um, and if there's a crash, you get out then, right? Um, again, I'm risk adverse. You need to decide how much of your portfolio uh, to put into each trade, how much of that you're willing to risk, how tight you should set your stops. And that's, again, like totally different for crypto. I've traded stocks and a bit of options before, and those stops tend to be you know your stop loss tends to be a fair bit tighter with this because it is just so volatile it can have these massive moves to either side um you might decide for you a looser stop works you might decide that 
you're going to stick to your regular principles and, and keep a tight stop. It's up to you, right? You might find that, um, well, I'm not going to advise on stops. I, I'm, none of this is advice. This is just um, opinions and a little quick tutorial on how to use Binance and set stop losses. It's that simple. The stop tells the program where you would like to place an order and the limit tells the program what that order is going to be. Then the amount, you hit sell. Like I said, it tells us that if the price drops to your stop, it will set a limit order. So it's not quite a stop loss. Normally a stop loss is a certain type of limit order that, that says, you know, if price sits here. So anyway, that's how to use Binance. Um, let's see. I think it's basically the same on the, on the basic. Basically the same on the basic. Great words there. Uh, yeah, stop limit. It's just the exact same, but I prefer to view it in the advanced and that's it. That's all I have to say. That's how you set a stop limit order or a stop loss order on Binance uh, in 2018. Now, I have a couple of other videos really quickly to do with charting. Um, and I'm going to link them in the description. Make sure you check them out because those skills are how you would determine where your stop loss goes. I need to really turn that on mute. Um, the charting is where I at least determine where my stop loss is going to go or all my stink bids. Uh, stink bid. I love that. Um, you know, I might decide that actually I think there's a good chance that price will retest whatever this average is, the 30 day. So I might put a stink bid in there. Sorry about that. Uh, you can tell I'm not a professional YouTuber. Anyway, so the charting bid I'm going to put in the link below, as well as a link to Coinbase and Binance because they're now accepting new accounts. Uh, so if you've been thinking about getting in to the crypto or, or Bitcoin world, um, you shouldn't wait because I think you should not wait because this stuff moves really quickly and uh, and you're better to get in now while you can make an account rather than wait too long and, and no one's accepting accounts anymore, which just happened recently. So that's all I have to say. That's how you place a stop limit order on Binance in 2018. And I hope you find this useful. Uh, I hope it protects you from uh, the sort of risks that are incurred when we trade cryptos.